Hey guys, welcome back for another episode. Uh, just wanted to hop on here quick. Uh, me and Randy are out here scouting this public area today and uh, just checking some stuff out. Not looking too promising to be honest with you, but we'll see what happens within this next month if we get any birds in or what. But we've got a surprise for you today. Kind of something that I bought out of the spur of the moment. Got something from Dive Bomb here. The M1 Mallard Floaters. These uh this is the decoy that Dive Bomb makes. Um they come in either you can get them by the dozen or they sell them to you in five dozens too if you're kind of like an outfitter. So that's kind of what dive bombs. Uh, clientele is it seems like is more for like outfitters and guides and stuff like that but I like their stuff use some of their stuff before so decided I wouldn't I, I needed to get some new decoys and some nicer decoys as often as I hunt so I, I went with these they were $125 for the for the dozen and they come in various positions um, there's some feeders some resters uh, this is called the active Here's a rester. Uh, one other cool thing I got with them was these dive bomb decoy rigs. These are the 48 ounce or 48 inch 8 ounce rigs. Um, I probably didn't need to get these 6 ounce rigs, but I wanted them for if I got some goose floaters. So I just I got them and I just put them on here for the sake of the video. I, they make uh, four and six ounce rigs. I have the four ounce ones and I used them last year. And these are awesome rigs. They're only 35 bucks for a dozen of them. They're great. Also, I got this uh, 12 slot decoy bag with them just for the sake of trying to keep them a little bit nicer. I'm kind of hard on decoys carrying them in and out. So this bag is, it, it's bulky for walking a long distance, I would say. Um, it's not really too heavy, but it, it, it'll do a nice job of keeping the decoys protected in this slotted bag but I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a few of these out here and see what they look like Notice that decoy when I threw it, it uh, it landed right on its top, and it had no problem with that keel weight that's on here flipping it right over, and it was even on weeds. Uh, let's see one more to throw out. I'll throw out one of these guys, kind of a semi-active. throw them all out. There they are, they look pretty good. Yeah, we're out here scouting today and basically all we've seen is a small group of teal and some coots. And this was probably one of the best spots for duck numbers last year. So, not very optimistic about the season to be honest, but we got out here with the boat somehow. It, uh, this lake or marsh, whatever you want to call it, it used to be a lake, then they kind of made it into this hunting area like this, uh, full of weeds. So, I don't know if the ducks like that or not. I hope so. I think they should. Usually, what we find is the best for the ducks is like a muddy bottom with about two or three inches of water. That seems to be what they like in our area, but I think this is. Looking good if we get some migrators and it stays open later in the season. That's a long ways away. We're only a month out from teal season though, so we're kind of trying to find some. We haven't seen any. If you guys want to take us on a teal hunt, if you got a good spot, let us know. But that's basically all I got. Just wanted to show you guys this quick and chatter at you. Uh, 
let us know if you got some of these decoys, how they work for you, and if they're lasting. Uh, like, subscribe, check out our Facebook. Uh, we're over 100 subscribers now, and that was a good accomplishment we've reached recently. So, anyways, we'll uh, talk to you guys later.